Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Just yesterday, Tony Abraham had to address the issue with Lizzie and Jorin after a month of silence and ignoring Lizzie. And according to Tony, she needed to address the issue with Lizzie and Jorin because her son and her husband were being dragged into the issue and she needed to protect her child. In the new post that Tony shared on our official social media platform, she was so filled with joy and happiness. And according to Tony, mothers should not relent their strive to see that their children are nothing short of their best. Tony Abraham has always been very open about her story and her journey so far, even when she was struggling to have a child of her own, and how this even pushed her to the discovery of a herbal product to help women with infertility issues. Tony has been very open about her struggle and how she finally married Kola Olia Jamie when she found out she was pregnant. And she said at almost 40, I found out I was pregnant. And even though Kola Olia Jamie had been asking to Abraham's hand in marriage before that, but then she didn't take the young man seriously until she found out she was pregnant. She also said she already asked God to forgive her for getting pregnant outside wedlock. But then she also tied the knot in the year 2019 when she welcomed her son, Uluwa Jiemi, and she tied the knot with her husband, Kola Olia Jiemi, who is also a famous super actor, director, and a producer. And today, she revealed exactly how she felt at the arrival of her baby, Uluwa. In a new post she shared of her husband and her son, they was filled with so much joy and happiness. In her words, the birth of Uluwa had so much joy and happiness to my life. This inspired the creation of the phenomenal Irige. From a mother to another, never relent on your strive to see that our children are nothing short of their best. Today we are inspiring families. And just like the struggle to have a child, Tony Abram had not had it easy at all. In fact, she joined the movie industry since the year 2003, but didn't take it up professionally until between 2000 and 2005. And she also confessed recently that in spite of being in the movie industry since that time, she only started making money. Four years ago, that was when she got to know her manager. But then she always tells the story to inspire millions of Nigerians. Never give up. And today, even though she was mapped a while ago, Tony Abraham and her husband are owners of two houses. One in Lagos State and one in Ibadan. The one in Lagos State is in the high bro part of Lagos State. And in our words, God has blessed us. I'm not beefing anyone. I do not have problem with anybody. God is my weakness. The birth of Tony Abraham's son, Yuridua, he broke the internet in the year 2019. This was in August. It made all the major headlines. After pictures of our wedding to Kola Olia Jamie surfaced on various social media platforms, they were followed by the news that this professional actress delivered a bouncing baby boy on Wednesday, August 14. On that day, Olua Tony Abraham and Jamie became a mother. And now she's a mother to two lovely kids. Yuriluwa Jiemi and Temitokwe Ajiemi. Temitokwe Ajiemi is the teenage daughter of Kola Wole Ajiemi. Kola Wole Ajiemi was a single father for a very long time before he finally tied the knot with Tony Abraham. Also, it was not until May 2020 that Tony Abraham finally shared the video of when she was giving birth to Yuriluwa. She was in the labor room. So, contrary to the belief that Tony delivered her child in a traditional home, the video showed that Tony Abraham underwent a cesarean section at the hospital. And Tony revealed that she decided to share the personal video on Mother's Day. And in her words, Happy Mother's Day to me and every mother out there. Motherhood is a wonderful journey. And that was why I recorded my childbirth. And I've decided to share it with you all. To so all mothers, remain strong. And never forget that you're golden. And indeed, in the year 2019, both the wedding of Tony Abraham and the birth of her son Iwilua took everyone by storm. Please stay with us for a short but interesting biography of Tony Abraham. Tony Abraham was born Olu Tony Aimaku on September 15, 1980. She spent her early life in Baga, part of your state. She also had her primary education, secondary school education, and tertiary education in your state. She also attended Oshun State Polytechnic from the year 1999 to 2002 where she had a pre-national diploma and ordinary national diploma. She now went on to obtain a higher national diploma certificate in marketing from Ibadan Polytechnic. She was introduced into Nigerian movie industry by Buki Wright, an AC urban Nigerian actress. And Buki Wright visited Ibadan to shoot a movie and Tony was on set that day to help them out. 
She was not there to feature in the movie, according to the story. But one of the actresses was missing that day, and so he was asked to fill in for this actress. And today they say the rest is history. Tony is known for featuring in blockbuster movies, and she's also known as the queen of box office. And of course, she's known for her comic roles. Some of her movies so far include The Therapist 2021, The Prophetess 2021, Ige 2021, Osha 2021, Fate of Alakada 2020, Dear Afi 2020, Small Chops 2020, Elevator Baby 2019, Don't Get Mad, Get Even 2019, Made in Heaven 2019, The Millions 2019, Casanova 2019, League Legations 2019, Name Bay 2019, The Ghost and the Tower 2018, Seven and a Half Days 2018, These Guys 2018, what just happened 2018? Alakada Reloaded 2017. Esui 2017. Akunde 2017. Mentally 2017. Tattoo 2017. London Fever 2017. Fire and Strike the Revolution 2017. Celebrity Marriage 2017. Oka First Love 2016. What Makes You Think 2016. Love is in the Hair 2016. Alaniba Balabake 2013. Ebi Mini 2013. Alakada 2013. I shall have to permit just to mention a few. She generally describes her childhood as very healthy, funny, and busy, even though they were not rich, because she had to hug to support her family. Then she had to hug plantain chips to pick it. Her parents were into various family activities, but their main vocation lay in religion. Her mother is a pastor, and her father worked for Ibra organization, but then retired when he was just a child. Before he passed, then he used to help his wife with church related programs. Today, Tony Abram has two diplomas in marketing and she also has a bachelor's degree in philosophical science from Olabisi Onobanjo University. In those days, she learned how to play drums, football and handball and she performed very well in sports that she became a member of the state team or your state and her hobbies include singing, dancing and cooking. Today, Tony is one of the biggest stars we have in the entire Nigerian movie industry. Can you follow us under Tenji also estimated her net worth two years ago to be worth to be around five hundred thousand dollars some of our works over the years include best nollywood actress maya awards best actress in 2014 ben tv awards best supporting actress in a future film 2013 best on Hollywood awards best actress in africa africa magic viewers choice awards mvc 2020 Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards 2020, just to mention a few of them. Today, Tohimbra has several match-watching endorsement deals. Apart from being an entrepreneur, because she's the CEO of Cops Limited by Tony, Tokitile by Tony, Cops Limited by Tony, and Plush Hair by Tony. So this is a short biography, but interesting biography, of Tony Hebra. And we have come to the end of the episode where Tony Hebra confessed that the best of Irilua added so much joy and happiness to her life. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know the senior things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.